Hey everybody, it's me, Laura, and today we're going to be doing our three-dimensional roses. I love these things. They are so great. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of clay, make it into a ball, and between your thumb and finger, press it into a little flat disc. Now, this disc is going to be a little bit thin on one side and then bulbous on the other. And then with your thumb, go ahead and roll that up into a rosebud. All right, so with your rosebud being made, create another clay ball. Once you have that, make sure you press it flat. And then when you go to wrap this around that rosebud, make sure that the wrapped bud where it ended is in the center of that particular petal. The next petal will then be wrapped on the other side of the rosebud with its circular ends overlapping the placement of the first petal. Once you have this completed, use your finger to gently fold over the two petals around the rosebud. This then gives you your two petal rose. Our three petal rose is gonna start out again with another ball and you're pressing it flat, creating that rosebud with your finger and your thumb. You're rolling it from the one side and eventually creating that bud. Take another ball, or create another ball, I should say, <laughs> and then again, press that ball flat, just like you did the one before, and again, positioning that where the end in the bud stopped right in the center and wrapping that around. Another ball, rolling that up, flattening that ball into another circular piece and wrapping that around on the other side. Now instead of going ahead and bending over the top two petals there on the outside, you're going to leave them upright just like I have here. Create another ball and then press that flat. Once you have your flattened petal created, take your two petal rose and place it in the center of the next petal so that the overlapped part from the first two petals is centered in that third petal which is being wrapped around. Then gently with your finger, push that petal over so it slightly curls. Create another ball and flatten this piece. And then once you have that, right where you left off on that third petal, just slightly overlap with the next one and bring that around, curling around your rows. Gently use your finger to curl over that petal as well. You're gonna then take another ball of clay, roll that up, and you're gonna flatten that as well. Once you have that, then you're just gonna overlap both of the two outside petals that you have here. And you're gonna slightly use your finger to gently push it over into that curled piece again and you will then have your three petal rose. So the five petal rose starts out actually with the three petal and it's quite easy. You're going to go ahead and you're going to create another ball. And once you have that, you're going to go ahead and flatten it like you have the others. Take that and right at where the two pieces are joined, center that in the next petal. And then again, of course, bending over that petal gently so it's nice and curled. Once you have another ball and it is flattened, what you're going to go ahead then is on that last petal that started around another row, you're going to go ahead and overlap on the one side that petal that you started with. So right here, just overlap it slightly and try to go over 
the dip, or I should say the joining of those other two inside petals. Again, create another ball and flatten that piece. And again, you're going to go ahead and take this piece and right where you left off, overlap just slightly on the last petal. Bring that around, again, gently curling over the petal. And then create that next petal, and you're going to overlap yet again. Now, as you can tell here, I get pretty close on that juncture between those last two petals, but we want to go ahead and put a fifth one down. And the reason why I do that is because when you create a rose the way I do them, doing a four petal rose doesn't look right all, all that well. I always have to remember I use odd numbers. So the three petal looks good, the five looks good. Yes, I did a two, but that's so small it doesn't matter. But generally, I like to go with odd numbered petal roses and these roses will be such that when you're building that second layer there and we'll just add this in right here there we go I'm just bending that over yeah and I'm making sure all my petals are nice and curled And as you can see here from the side, there's quite a bit of room between that three petal and where I added my extra row. That was because we are building this so that it's going to build up. So it becomes quite, quite big in the end. That's why you don't have to have a lot of extra petals. So I wanted to show you here how we could create more than just one type of rosebud. At first here, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the original rosebud, which again, you make the ball, you flatten it, and right here you're going to see it's really thin on one side, and then you see that really bulbous end on the bottom. And that's how you're going to wrap it. You're going to wrap the thin end up, and then the bulbous part will be on the bottom of it. So using your thumb and just lightly pushing it from one side around and you get your rosebud. Now as I place this on the table, we're going to go ahead and create the next rosebud. And this one, again, you're going to start with a ball. And once you have that, you're going to roll it so that it's into a little tiny log. And then you're going to press that flat between your thumb and your finger. And then just like the other rosebud that you did, use your thumb to start wrapping it around. And there you have your second type of rosebud. And here are your two examples up close. Okay, so let's create stems for the roses. This is my three petal rose, and as you can see here, it is cut flat on the bottom. This is a nice thing since I can now take this rose and apply it to any flat surface type project, such as a box or any kind of glass container. But instead, we will create a stem for this rose using some leaf green clay, rolling it into a ball, then into a small log, flattening it, and then where the cut part of the rose is, you wrap that green around it. Now once you have that green wrapped around that rose, you're going to press it in almost like you're reducing on a cane. And as you do that, you're then going to gently roll that between your hands and eventually it'll create a stem. When you do that, go ahead and pull too, because when you pull, that will create a really nice stem without having to do much more. Okay, so now let's take our rosebud and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create a little ball, roll it into a log, flatten it, 
and then you're going to take your bud and you're going to roll it around that bulbous end. And again, just kind of pushing it in and then rolling it gently between your hands and pulling. And you can tell here it's kind of a little bit shorter, so just pull out that green a little bit more. And now I'm going to position that three petal cane over my rosebud. We're going to create a nice little line of our roses. So there's our two petal, again, a little bit of green, rolling it, flattening it, and then wrapping that, ooh, we're going to cut off a little, yeah, I had a little extra there. <laughs> and then we'll just go ahead and wrap that green right around the bottom of that rose. And again, rolling it between my fingers, rolling and pulling, and then there you go. There's your third. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to our five petal rows. Again, making that ball, making it into a log, flattening it out. And then right at the base of that rose, we're just going to wrap that green right around the bottom. And then we're going to push in on all sides, just like I would do in reducing a cane. And then I go ahead and between my two hands, just gently try and get that stem to kind of come out more and more. And then maybe doing a little bit of pulling as well. But as you can see here, just even rolling it out, I got quite a bit. <laughs> And then we're just going to go ahead and lay that down and adding that into our little compilation of roses. And so here we'll go ahead and add in our last flower, our last little rosebud into the compilation. Wrapping it up in that green and then just pulling out that stem. Here I have the samples of all the different roses I created and the ones with the stems on them. Please use this for reference and study. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I would love to hear what you guys are thinking. And as always, I am sending out my biggest hugs to you all. I hope you have a fantastic day.